Hello everybody, Ben the Pat Tester here. Quick video for you today about Pat Testing White Goods. Now, um, most white goods, dishwasher, washing machine, tumble dryer, they'll have a 13 amp plug on the end of them. So they should be Pat Tested. The difficulties you'll find is um, not so much in this kitchen, but I'll explain. You've got a dishwasher here, which is a freestanding dishwasher, which is wedged in uh, under this unit here. Same with this washing machine here. Um, as you can see, also, there's some rust damage um, as well. But we'll come on to that about whether that will fail the vision inspection. Now, a couple of things can happen. This can either be plugged in directly behind or as is the case, you will need to go hunting. And normally dishwashers or washing machines are next to a sink unit. And then they put plugs underneath, right next to the water supply and the waste pipe. But that's a story for another day. Um, I, I'm not sure whether that's um, in line with electrical installation regs. But for me, it's a bit close to the water supply. But hey, that's another story. So you can see this one's plugged in behind, goes up through a hole behind there. So the difficulty you'll have is if you unplug that, you'll need to pull the dishwasher out. But then the problem you'll find is then you'll have to pull the plug through the hole. Um, and often you'll find as well is the waste pipes on these and the water supply pipes are done in so tight that if you pull that dishwasher out, the dishwasher would only be able to be pulled out, such is the case with this one, where you've got to disconnect the waste pipe. Well, that's not really something we should be doing as pack testers. This waste pipe is really tight, and if I was to force and pull that dishwasher out to check and do a visual inspection behind, check the flex behind, um, you could end up damaging these pipes, splitting the pipe, and there'd be water all over the floor, and it'd leave yourself open to insurance claim and uh, you'll not have a very good day so what i'd recommend this is my recommendation um as is all the videos they're just my thoughts and recommendations um is do a visual inspection as much as you can of the flex and as much as you can on the dishwasher there test it through your machine put a note on your records that you can't physically pull out the whole of the dishwasher it's just impossible to do it and you risk damaging the floor or you risk damaging any pipe work behind same with this tumble um, this washing machine here there's a plug socket down there for it but it's not plugged in um, I suspect that the washing machine plug is behind this unit now the other difficulty you'll find with these is they're so damn heavy they're not on any casters there's hardly any space there for you to be able to push it back and and put some casters or something underneath and you don't want to damage the floor that's the last thing you want to do also you've got no idea behind how tight the pipe work is is it kinked if you pull it or if you force it are you going to again damage the pipe work you can't see so i always recommend just trying to gently pull it out because these things are so heavy gently put it out see what you can see behind if you think it's going to come quite easy then just keep pulling it out but of course the the, the hard thing then is because this is wedged in relatively tight it's so difficult to get them back in because you have to edge them in zigzag wise rather than pushing them in straight and again if you do that you you may damage the floor so um yeah, it's a tricky one with that. If, if you can pull it out, pull it out. If you can't, make a note of it. Um, I have done that one before, a couple of years ago, but I had some help to do it um, from a tenant. Um, and I couldn't do it last year because I physically couldn't move it. And I think that's going to be the case again. Um, you've got some rust on here, visual inspection. Um, whilst sometimes you see rust on a microwave on the casing which could be a cause for failure i wouldn't necessarily fail this based on that it's just got some water damage from the tray underneath um the, it's still solid it's just surface paintwork that, that's rusting I, I wouldn't necessarily fail it but i just make a note on your paperwork uh, anyway um the other quick one is you'll you'll often see integrated items 
like this microwave here. Um, it's not readily obvious that there's any screws on here. I've had a go and it, the thing is solid. There's a couple of screws in there, but there's some screws hidden around here. It's obviously a microwave that's up at about four foot, five foot high. Someone's pat tested it before. Um, go dig in, have a look in cupboards and see if you can find plugs uh, anywhere behind. But again, something like that, you may just have to do a visual inspection and just say that the plug is inaccessible. Um, I, there's no spur or anything there isolated in the microwave. So the plug is probably buried behind somewhere, but it's very difficult to get to that. Um, and the same with these ovens as well. Single ovens are okay. This is a double oven. That's going to weigh an absolute ton. Um, you know, you should be checking behind ovens because some have plugs, some don't, some are hardwired. Um, you have to make a judgment call on that. But again, don't go overexerting yourself, risking injury just for the sake of putting out an appliance. You note it on your paperwork. You say to your your landlord or your client, I'm ever so sorry, um, I can't do the oven on this occasion because of the weight or I don't want to damage any of your kitchen um, and you perhaps arrange another time for you to come in when there's two of you here and, and you can pull it out if, if the client, um, if the landlord deems it necessary. Um, so yeah, just a little um, help you there on some white goods and uh, integrated appliances. Um, thanks for all your phone calls and, um, and messages as well, thanking me for the videos. It's uh, uh, really humbling for you to all uh, uh, take the time to get in touch. So see you on the next video.